the keyboard and the mouse are your two main forms of input, and they may be the only form of input that you'll use in AutoCAD. Now, your mouse you're going to use probably the most because your hand really never leaves that unless you're typing in long text notes. So most mice these days in AutoCAD have three buttons. Several of them have more, like five or six, all the way up to 12, 13, and more. Now, regardless of the type of mouse you have, you can program the buttons on your mouse to behave a certain way. I like to have a mouse that has at least five buttons on it. The mouse I use right now has 10 buttons on it, and I can program each one of them. Sometimes you can use the software drivers that come with the mouse to program certain functionalities into it, but you can also use AutoCAD to program your buttons to act or behave in a certain way. Now, out of the box, your buttons behave a certain way. The left button, when I click it, is my selection. I can select it, I can pick things, and do things like that. And when I right click, usually acts as the enter key. And then the middle button or your scroll wheel, if I click and hold it, acts like the pan button so I can pan things around. And if I scroll with it, I can zoom in and out of my drawing. That's basic function right out of the box. Now you can change the right click functionality through the options. So type options on your command line, press enter, then go to the user preferences tab in your options. So user preferences. And you want to go to the right click customization button. So left click on that. And this is the way I typically have mine set up. I can turn on the time sensitive right click button. If I just do a right click, it acts like I've entered the enter key. But if I right click and hold, it'll bring up a shortcut menu. So you can adjust the time length that you need to right click and hold. So how long you need to hold it for, for that window to come up. If I unclick this, it goes into default mode which is right click, which will repeat the last command, or it'll just right click, it'll take you into a shortcut menu. And if that's the way you want to work, then absolutely you work that way. This is just my preference. Click apply and close, click OK. So if I start a command, and I draw a line, press enter, I right click, and it brings me right back to that last command, drawing a line. If I right click and hold, it'll bring up a menu for me. This gives me a lot of different options that I can get to. Now when I start a command, like the line command, and I right click and hold, I get other options as well. Now different commands will have different options available to you. In this case, I can hit enter, I can cancel, I can look at recent input, I can undo, or one of my favorites is the snap overrides. I can get to all my O snaps right here. Select endpoint, and I just snapped right to it. So that's one quick and easy, it's probably a pretty simple way to customize how your mouse buttons work but you can go even farther, even deeper into that. Let's open up the CUI. Type CUI in the command line and press enter. Now, if a pointing device has more than two buttons, you can change the behavior of the second and third buttons no problem. The first button on any pointer device can't be changed in the custom user interface. Now, the way you'd make these changes, is just come up here into your CUI in your top left corner, and you wanna go down to the mouse buttons section right here. If I click this button right here, it'll expand out a list. And this gives you options to program your mouse's button. Now you have click. This is just your standard click. So when you click your mouse, it will do something to it. And AutoCAD can handle a mouse with up to 10 buttons on it. Now you'll notice button one is missing. That's the left click button. You can't change the left click. The left click will always be the same regardless of how you set everything up. Now here's the right click. That's the grips menu, snap menu, cancel, etc. So you can program all of your buttons to work this way. Now to make that change, you just find your different command that you want, just like you would edit anything else. You left click, grab it, and drag it, and drop it in. Since I grabbed the same command, it just looks the same. So you can program all of your buttons this way. Now one thing you may not have known is that you can shift and click. You can also control and click. That means hold down the shift key and then click with your mouse while you're holding down the shift key or the control key, or in this case, both. So if you only have three buttons, which is very likely, you can expand the number of buttons you have by using the shift and the control key or combinations thereof. So you can add one, two, three more clicks or three more controls to each button. So your three button mouse can quickly go to a six button mouse because you have one, two, three, four, five, six. You get six commands from your two extra buttons plus your left click. So it becomes a seven button mouse. Now, if you right click on any of these, you can say new button and it adds the next button. 
So if you have more than one button on here, you can keep adding that. If you don't like this, you can clear the assignment, you can delete it, you can duplicate one of them, the same basic controls that you would have throughout any of the other CUIs. Now, the middle mouse button by default works like a pan, but you can change the way that works. If you type in the command M button pan, and setting to one is the default. That'll make the button pan. If I set it to zero, this will support the action that's defined in the CUI. Right now, it's set up to bring up your OSNAP menu. So again, if I go back to the CUI and I scroll down to the mouse functions here, button three, which is my scroll wheel, brings up the snap menu. So whichever way you want to work, if you don't want to use that as a pan command, you can absolutely set it that way. And this will give you the controls for how you want it to function. I like the pan, so I'm gonna set that back. I just have to type in the proper command. Set it to zero to get to the CUI options, set it to one to function as a pan. So that's one way you can customize the interface systems of your mouse with AutoCAD.